Hedy Lamarr, born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler on November 9, 1914, was a trailblazer in both Hollywood and technology. Originating from Austro-Hungarian Vienna, she ascended into stardom during Hollywood's golden age. Lamarr's fleeting film career in Czechoslovakia included the controversial film Ecstasy in 1933. Escaping her domineering husband, a wealthy Austrian munitions manufacturer, she fled to Paris. Her journey led to London, where she met MGM studio head Louis B. Mayer, securing a Hollywood movie contract. Lamar's stardom was cemented with the 1938 film Algiers, marking her arrival in American cinema. She continued to dazzle in successful MGM productions, adding glamour to the silver screen. Her portrayal of Delilah in Samson and Delilah, 1949, proved to be her greatest acting triumph. Beyond the camera, Lamar's final big screen appearance was in The Female Animal in 1958. Hetty's brilliance shined through with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, awarded in 1960. As the World War II began, she co-invented a radio guidance system with avant-garde composer George Anthill. Their invention utilized spread spectrum and frequency hopping technology crucial for modern communications. Despite her ingenuity, Hedy Lamarr received the recognition for her technological contributions decades later. Born to Jewish parents in Vienna, Lamarr was the only child to Gertrude and Emil Kiesler. She showed early signs of talent, winning a beauty contest in Vienna at the age of 12. Lamarr's passion led her to acting classes in Vienna, setting the stage for her future stardom. Her big break came with a role in Money on the Street, 1930, and led to further parts in European films. Despite her film Ecstasy being notorious for its time, it won an award at the Venice Film Festival. Disenchanted with the film industry, Lamar turned her back on European cinema and moved towards Hollywood. Lamar's tumultuous first marriage to Friedrich Mandel led to her covert escape and eventual emigration to America. Lamar's experience in military technology meetings sowed the seeds for her future invention. Her tactful self-reinvention from the ecstasy lady to a Hollywood star revealed her strategic acumen. Lamar's luminous on-screen presence saw her typecast, but her off-screen life was marked by invention. Away from the spotlight, Lamar helped in the war effort by promoting war bonds with her Hollywood fame. Exploring production post-MGM, she formed her own company, but faced challenges in creating profitable films. Despite a declining film career, Lamar found her greatest success in Samson and Delilah in 1950. Curiosity drove Lamar to invent. She conceptualized a tablet that would create a carbonated drink when dissolved. Her inventive prowess with Anthale led to a patent in 1942 for a secret communication system. Recognition for her inventive genius included the Electronic Frontier Foundation Pioneer Award in 1997. In quieter later years, she gained U.S. citizenship and published her controversial autobiography, Ecstasy and Me. Legal battles marred the 1960s for Lamar, but she secured a place in technological history. Withdrawn from the limelight, she still left an indelible mark, earning posthumous induction into the Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014. Hedy Lamar passed away on January 19, 2000 in Florida, an iconic figure of both cinema and science. Her life, a synthesis of glamour and genius, left an invaluable legacy in the realms of entertainment and technology. That was a glimpse into Hedy Lamar's life. Comment to suggest new story. Share, like, and follow for more.